Hi, meteorologist John Dawson. This is the Fox 26 tropical update just for YouTube. Thanks for finding us here on YouTube. And if you hadn't got the memo, uh, we're here every day, including the weekends, a little bit after 4 p.m. Central Time in the afternoon. If the Hurricane Center has any updates, we always want to make sure that we're here right after they give those updates and we're able to dive in, spend a lot of time discussing whatever might be happening uh, across uh, the Atlantic Basin for the most part, but sometimes we touch on the Pacific a little bit as well, and that's going to be the case today where we kind of just talk about it for just a moment. So let's start with a look at the Gulf of Mexico along with the Caribbean, and it is quiet. Not much happening out there at all. That is some great news to report. And as we go back out a little further into the Atlantic, there was a cluster of some storms, a little bit of an attempt at some organization. Uh, again, this is pretty far out and pretty far south in the Atlantic. Here Here's Africa, uh, and this was an area that the Hurricane Center was taking a look at yesterday, giving it some very small probabilities that it would develop into a tropical system, a tropical cyclone, and as a matter of fact, now today, Saturday, they've decided to go ahead and just sort of lose interest in it a little bit. So the official statement from the National Hurricane Center is that over the next five days, no new tropical cyclones are expected to develop. So that's fantastic news. This is the time of year when we begin to see, you know, statistically speaking, we begin to see less activity overall in the Atlantic, but we've had a stretch where we've had uh, at least something to look at and ponder over a little bit or even track because we've had Carl that has been with us uh, for the last uh, five or six days or so. And that one uh, again is no longer something that's going to be concerned with from the Hurricane Center as well. And so we like to see when we have the no new formation uh, is expected. So quick review on where we are so far here as we're kind of getting into the middle of October uh, and what we've seen thus far. We've had 11 named storms. And again, I'll re remind you again, this is the Atlantic Basin that we're talking about here. Uh, we've had 11 named storms. Five of those have uh, been hurricanes and we've had two of those uh, even that have been major hurricanes. That's a category three or higher on the scale. How that compares with an average season and our average that we're using now is the last 30 years is what we're averaging out to kind of consider ourselves an average season. That's statistically what the National Weather Service does. Uh, 14 named storms, seven of those hurricanes and three major hurricanes. Now, the, the interesting thing about this uh, is that statistically speaking, you could see, of course, that we're below average because this is what we would normally consider an average, and this is what we've done so far. And that is not what all the indications were as far as the forecast goes. So it's a little bit of a surprise, to be honest, to hear in October that we're having some numbers that are still below average, because again, we're kind of beginning to run out of time. So 11 named storms. Now we did have a, tro a couple tropical depressions that were thrown in there as well, but they did not develop uh, enough to become a named system. So you might remember if you're trying to keep track, there were some TDs of tropical depressions that were kind of in there a little bit. But as far as the name systems go, here we are at Carl, uh, and that's what we have so far. Again, this is for the Atlantic Basin. Now, I told you we talk about the Pacific sometimes. Let's just sort of touch on that real quick. 11 in the Atlantic in the Pacific, all the way up to 16 named storms that have formed in the Pacific. And this is an unusual year in the fact that we actually have two named storms that originated or formed in the Atlantic and then crossed over and into the Pacific and held their characteristics, their tropical cycle and characteristics entirely uh, during that process, enough so that the National Hurricane Center began issuing advisories on Bonnie and Julia in the Pacific side of things, not just the Atlantic. So again, Bonnie and Julia formed in the Atlantic and then crossed over and into the Pacific. So those are kind of, again, if you want to count those as two of the, the named storms as well that formed uh, over here, that actually formed in the Pacific, uh, then that would make a total of 18 named storms that we've seen in the Pacific so far for this year. 
Always lots more that we could be discussing. You could leave some comments below. I like to check in there occasionally, kind of give a little bit of feedback if you want to do that. Of course, subscribing to the Fox 26 channel is a good idea, but also at John Dawson Fox 26 is how you can communicate with me directly. Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. It would be great if you wanted to uh, connect in that way. We'll be back here again tomorrow. Same time, same place with another tropical update here on the Fox 26 YouTube channel.